it's shown from Shooty School. Tune Tracks SDX, which is a sound expansion for Superior Drama 3, called Stories by Frank Filippetti, has four separate libraries. It's a humongous SDX. This video here is about the last library, Percussion. Let's check out the instruments and the articulations. To start off with what I think is the best or the coolest is the gong. It sounds super nostalgic. It sounds pretty perfect. Um, there's only so many articulations. On the gong, it's just a hit. We have the option of a felt mallet, but if we look in the felt mallet menu, there's a little hidden treasure. There's a 12 inch little itty bitty gong. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> and you could also hit the big gong with the felt mallet. Next to the gong, we got the four cymbals. I think they sound pretty unique um, simply because I'm used to hearing cymbals from a typical acoustic drum set. Sound pretty unique. They just have the regular hit, the crash articulation and a muted squelch or a choke hit. Just hit with drumsticks. We have a triangle. We have a large triangle as well. And we have choke and muted hits along with the regular hit. Regular hit, choke, mute. And here's the difference between the choke and the mute. It's fun to have these articulations. It's fun. I guess they squelch it with the hand. We have the Agogo, which there's actually two of them. There's a high and a low. And there's muted hits of each. Pretty cool. Here we have Timpanis. Um, they just have a regular hit and a muted hit. And what's fun for me is if I if you have a MIDI control it has like a rotary or a fader or a, a knob um, you can MIDI learn where's the pitch real time pitch right here you can MIDI learn Tim this timpani selected twist this knob there we go now we've got it I always wanted to do this with Easy Drama 3, but the Easy Drama 3 pitch knob, when you turn it, it re-renders the sample, so it can't happen in real time. You turn the pitch knob, you gotta wait a, a few seconds up or down. Uh, Superior has real-time pitch control, it's great, and you can kinda have fun with. It's pretty fun. There's probably many different ways to mess with this, but if I hit record right now, uh, down here, it'll actually record all my pitch moves and stuff like that, the automation. It's pretty cool. Have fun with it if you wish. <laughs> I like it a lot, man. Uh, enough, Sean. Right here, you have a tambourine that's not a future hit tambourine. So if you're an E drummer or a MIDI controller player, you might want to um, MIDI learn to this tambourine and not to the future hit instruments. It's just uh, easy when it comes to uh, which velocity you should send. It doesn't matter what velocity you send to a non future hit tambourine. It'll work as intended. Down here, we got little tiny bongos and they have great articulations. Let's see what we got here. Open hit, muted hit, heel, finger, thumb, muted slap. Here's the lower one, same articulations. It's missing the slap though that this one has. Wood block, there's two of them to choose from. Single hit articulation. We've got a maraca, this is a future hit instrument and if you don't know about Future Hit, Future Hit's like a beautiful thing when it comes to like a beautiful pocket when you're programming an SD3 or when you're using the included MIDI files. When it comes to trying to trigger Future Hit instruments, it's kind of a headache. So that's what I can tell you about Future Hit briefly. But we got a maraca here. 
We have a future hit shaker. It's a shaker. Yep. Got three of them, actually. We have a Kabasa. This is not a future hit instrument, even though it's in between two of them. It's got a long hit and a short hit. It's pretty cool. Those are fun to feel in real life if you haven't before. And then we have a future hit tambourine here. It's actually three tambourines here, so they've, they've do, they're doing their work on this stuff. Cute. We have the plastic blocks, the jam block. Just one single hit articulation, and there's two of them, a high and a medium. What do I see down here? A you hit it with a felt mallet as well, instead of sticks? Okay. Let's hear this. What was that? That was medium block? Let's hear medium block with sticks real quick. Yeah. Super difference in tone and attack. So let's hear the, the high one with mallets. cute. The cowbells in this are super cool. There's three of them. They put some work in. Check out the articulations. Open edge, open tip, muted edge, muted tip, open closed roll. <laughs> it's cute. Muted closed roll. Comment below. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm not used to seeing this many articulations on a cowbell. Maybe I've maybe it's in a different S SDX and I've missed it. Let me know. They they did all these articulations with three separate cowbells. Here, salsa, cha cha, low cowbell. Very cool. Here's bongo cowbell. Cool. Let's get over to the congas. Articulations, same amount of articulations for each. Let's start with the high one. Open hit front, muff, bass, tone. Open slap, muted slap, flam. Cool. Here's the lower one. One thing that just came to mind real quick is that the Stories Percussion Library would probably really go well with the orchestral SDX. Um, it's like similar family of instruments, but they're not all identical instruments, so I think they would complement each other. You could probably steal the MIDI from the orchestral EZX and kind of throw it into this and, and see if that works. But uh, anyway, let's do the chimes. Tune track actually went a little overboard with the chimes. There is a bar studio chimes and bar concert chimes. So there's two chimes. And not only that, each set has quite a few articulations, which will take a minute to get through. I might hit the X on my keyboard to stop all audio, just, to, just so we don't have to sit through the sustain of these so we can move a little faster. Let's check it out. Here is studio chimes, fast up articulation. There's fast up slow up, fast down, slow down, up, down, up, down, up, down. <laughs> I, I do live sound uh, weekly with a guy that does chimes. I'm going to, the slow up sounded like it didn't just go completely ascending from pitch low to high, but it seemed like it went up and back a hair, up, back a hair. That that might just be my ignorance. I thought I heard that though. Fast down. Slow down. Up, down, up. I've never paid attention to chime articulations before, so this is new to me. Maybe they're in other SDXs. If they are, let me know. Comment below. A lot of content. Let's check out concert chimes. Fast up. That's creepy. 
That's I like how I like how that was a little less musical than the other chime set. I mean, that was like uh, feature film uh, sound effects or something. Yeah, I, I feel similar about that. Not about the sustain, but about the performance. Like, it was a little rigid in a really cool way. Fast down. Slow down. <laughs> this is cool. kick drum can be quite thunderous. It can be hit with a felt mallet or a gong mallet. It's quite simple, one articulation, but sounds great. Yeah, I feel like there was something unique about uh, listening to those articulations. That's the instruments. Now let's check out the MIDI that's intended for the Stories Percussion Library. Hopping over to the Grooves tab, select our Stories MIDI Library. And from the top, we'll see the MIDI for the other libraries. We see Main Studio, Isobooth A, Isobooth B. Those are the other three libraries and stories. The percussion MIDI is down here. And it's segregated. The first category is individual percussion instruments. If your titles are cut off, you just hold your mouse over it and wait, you get a tooltip. It'll spell it out for you. Second category is percussion combo arrangements. And underneath that are three more categories for the three new future hit instruments that the Stories Percussion Library provides. And let me just do something real quick for newcomers or people that are just aren't sure what to do with these alternate percussion instruments. Let's say it's day one, you don't have a premeditated plan or a or a plan of attack. So right now I actually have the story's main library loaded up. It's just a analog drum kit, right? I'm gonna play a beat from this, okay? We'll close this out. Now let's load up a different instance of Superior Drummer right next door. I have one ready right here. And now we have the story's percussion library loaded up, right? Now let's go back to the grooves tab select the stories library and let's check out these future hit categories because these are really special future hits a pain in the butt when you're trying to trigger it it throws a lot of people off but when you use the prefab midi that tune track gives to you with your sdx i mean it sounds fantastic it has a really special pocket to it which you're about to see so what i might do as a newcomer is i'll just add little splashes of single instruments playing along to my grooves on my other instances. Uh, we're playing in 4-4, this is at 90 BPM, so this is shaker MIDI, and I'll go into straight 4-4, and let's just hit play on something. The pocket's beautiful right out of the gate. I'll just select a couple random ones. pretty cool and if you check out this MIDI if you're not familiar with future hit you check out this MIDI it just looks like a bunch of eighth or sixteenth notes but if you expand the articulations you can see there's definitely something to it and you can check that out on your own but that's the special sauce in future hit right there so that's what I might do as a newcomer is I'll throw little single instance uh, MIDI files of a future hit instrument added, or I might go into this first category here, individual percussion instruments. Whether this works over a beat or not, that's up to your discretion, but we're playing at 90, so maybe this 100 BPMs will match, and here's a conga pattern, let's just see if it works over this. It's a little quiet, we're gonna turn this beat off in a second. Where's one that has more intensity? This one has more intensity. <laughs> it's pretty cool. So that's what I might do 
as a newcomer, let's explore one more MIDI category. Let's check out the one category in the MIDI we haven't talked about yet, Combo Arrangements. I'm in the Grooves tab. I'm in the Stories Library. Percussion Combo Arrangements, straight 4-4. It's at 140 BPM, so let's preview an original tempo so we can hear the intended performance. And what's cool about this, it, let's say here's two songs, or in this case, arrangements. All these folders are divided up into the individual instruments that we can select on, right? And if we look inside the jam block folder, there's only one MIDI file, and there's only one MIDI file in each of these, okay? It seems pretty limited, but it's actually pretty cool because this is a big composition for you to construct. So if I hit play on the jam block MIDI file, waiting, I'm waiting for something to happen. Boom, there it is. What's that? Right? Some suspense. Sounds really cool, actually. So what do I do with that? Well, we layer that with all these other folders of instruments is what we do. And let me do it in one way. There's probably many ways to do this in Superior, but I'm going to do it in a way where I can stay on the Grooves tab, and you might dig this workflow. So this jam block is now down here in my song track. Let's check out the wood block. It looks like a similar, similar rhythm, but uh, there's less dots, so it's probably different. All right. So how do we combine this with this? Well, what I do is I copy it here, right click, copy, and now I'll right click on the, the groove in the song track and don't paste at playhead because that will replace it. You want to paste on selected groove and I want to paste the wood block. Our jam block is already down there from up here. Now we have the wood block, which we just copied, and now we'll right click on the jam block, paste on selected groove, wood block, and now we've merged that MIDI. We didn't replace MIDI, we merged the MIDI. Let's check this out. Sounds interesting, it's a little sparse at the moment. Let's throw a couple layers on here. Here's the bass drum, which if you remember earlier, I said I love hearing that bass drum in context. I'll put a timpani on there. Now let's see where we're at. We have four separate instruments. <laughs> it's pretty darn cool. Um, I don't want to spend all day on this, plus I don't want to take the fun away from your experience when you try this yourself. But let me load on the rest of these instruments so we can hear an arrangement. Let's check out this arrangement. This is supposedly every instrument if I didn't mess up. Was there a double bass at the end? Oh man, there was something going do -do 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 at the end. That sounds pretty serious. It's very fun. Uh, it's very cool. And we could do this with the other arrangement. I don't want to do too many spoilers, though. In case you own it, you can have the fun yourself on one of them. But um, if you were a beginner and a complete newbie, one way you might want to think about this if you're scoring a scene in a movie, or if you have, you know, a storytelling, a storytelling song arrangement, you know, you know, you just basically you only want to a generic way to do it is you just combine a few things at first for a good eight measures or so. You know, pretend it's Indiana Jones and the dude's peeking through the woods and he's not in trouble yet. You know, do -do 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 you know, just a couple little layers. And by the time the whole, you know, Indian or Aztec tribe is chasing after the guy shooting poison arrows at him, that's when you're up to, to the full ensemble. You know, that's a way you would ramp up in a scene of a movie. That's a generic way for beginners to maybe look at it, you know? And lastly, before we call it, let's check out the few, the very few presets that come with the Stories Percussion Library, since we have this cool little ensemble up here. Let me loop this. I'm gonna hit play and let's just see what we have for uh, library presets. There's four of them. We're on the default right now. Let's scroll through all four. Dry.
<laughs> that sounds so cool. Let's check out Full Room. Medium room. No, hall verb. Well, I'm curious. Here's the reverb channel. Last one is medium room. It's pretty cool. It's Sean from Shooty School. If I've ever made your day, consider contributing to me at shootyschool.com. Do like and subscribe if you want to see more content. And if you're looking for like minds and basic support, check out my groups on Facebook and Discord. Rock on.